Hello everybody! In this video I will show you my method to do toe alignment using a laser and homemade wheel hangers. Obviously you can go to a specialized garage to do it, but it can be done at home with precision using stuff that you already have in your do-it-yourselfer shop. This method will require some effort to build simple equipment and time to do all the adjustments and measurements right. So if you are looking for any fast and easy 5 minutes method, I have nothing to offer you here. To use my laser method to set toe in a car, you will need 1 garage door, 4 homemade wheel hangers with gauge attachments, and a laser that shoots vertical lines. Before doing it in real life, let's see the theory behind the procedure. Here we have a representation of a four-wheel vehicle. In my case it's a Volvo 940 with a solid rear axle. Nothing to adjust here. But front wheels must be set in a specific geometry to improve handling and prolong tire lifespan. In this video I will talk only about toe alignment and actually it is the only thing that can be aligned in this car. Swedish engineering, eh? If you are driving a tablet on wheels with sensors that sensing steering wheel position and sensors that sensing what other sensors are sensing, then go straight to a dealership. I prefer cars I can fix myself. And if something really breaks there, I can visit my local blacksmith to put things back together. Ok, so what is this toe alignment? The toe in is the difference between distance R measured at the rim, rear end, on the level of center of the wheel, and the distance F measured at the rim front end on the same level. To have toe in, the front distance must be smaller than the rear distance. The value of it depends on the make and model of a car. Toe out is the opposite. In my method I drive the car straight to the point that centers of the right and the left wheels are precisely on the 5 meters distance mark measured from my garage doors. Then I project the laser beam from the back through the gauge on the rear wheel hanger and through the middle gauge of the front wheel hanger. In this example it is 6 cm on the rear gauge and 5.5 cm on the front middle gauge. The closer you can get to the car the better. Why the difference? The front wheels are set apart farther than the rear ones. I must account for this difference to have the laser beam hitting the garage door at the right angle. This will be my reference point. Then I transfer the laser to the front wheel hanger and project the beam precisely at 5.5 cm point at the three gauges of the front hanger. Let's zoom at the geometry and numbers. In this picture the angle is exaggerated just to show clearly what we are doing. Here it is about 5 degrees angle. But in reality we need 0 degrees, 9 minutes, plus or minus 4 minutes. It is so tiny that it is hard to measure on the spot. Let alone see it with your eyes. Probably now you have a clue why I need the garage door's flat surface at the distance. 15 inch rim measured and it is 39 centimeters. I take half of it because I will measure from the center of the wheel at the 5 meter distance mark. It is 19 and a half centimeters. Hold on a second, why not to do it in imperial measurements? Well, me, my wife and my daughter, it is only 6 feet. 5 meters is more than that. Alexa will get it for you. I don't have one. Let's get back to the picture. You probably noticed that I am cheating here a bit. 
I assume that hypotenuse distance is the same as leg distance in this right triangle, which cannot be. But the difference is so tiny that my measurement devices will not detect it. According to the specs for my car, the toe-in must be 2.2 mm plus minus 1. So it should be between 1.2 to 3.2 mm total, which is 0.6 to 1.6 mm per one side. Since I measure from the center of the rim, I take half of this, which is 0.3 to 0.8 mm per each side. How this translates to the distance x? 5 meters away on the garage doors. Distance from the reference point to the point at the maximum angle on the side is 20.5 millimeters. The minimum distance is 7.7 millimeters. With my distance I will aim in the middle of it. So my aim is 14 millimeters on each side. Somebody can say, you showed us calculations from the middle of the rim, but your hangers aim at 5.5 distance from the center of the rim. Well, yeah, but those lines are parallel, and at the end we got the same triangle. Same distances. Let's do it! First, I make sure that all tires are inflated to the spec. Then I drive the car straight and position the center of the wheel on the 5 meter distance mark on both sides. It takes several attempts and it is handy to have your significant other or a friend to assist you in the process. It is easy to check if the wheel is in the right spot if you have Mercedes, Mitsubishi or BMW. It is good idea to minimize friction under front wheels. I use two plastic tiles. You can even put some grease there. The steering wheel locked in a straight position with two pieces of wood set against the floor. I did the procedure after sunset to see laser beams better. Now take a look at my hangers. Steel squares attached to band tubings. The band is such that the steel squares press naturally up against the rim. Position on the tubing can be adjusted and held in position by a set screw. Front hangers have three gauges and flat spot to attach the laser device. The laser must be firmly attached to the hanger to prevent even slight movement. Rear hangers have only one gauge in the middle. Those gauges are made from an old measuring tape with busted first few inches. I marked new numbers using caliper. Because I have protective tape at the ends, I used perfectly flat surface to set the right distances on those gauges. This part is critical for the success of the whole thing. Setting laser on a tripod, I projected the beam through the rear gauge. The closer you can get to the car, the better. In this example, 10 centimeters and 9.5 centimeters through the middle gauge of the front hanger. I already explained why there is the difference. For now, I didn't pay attention to the first and the third gauge on the hanger. What was projected on the doors was marked with easy to erase whiteboard marker. This is my reference point. Then I moved the laser to the front hanger 
and projected the beam through all three gauges at 9.5 cm distance mark. This is my reference point. The second mark is at 14 mm distance from the reference point. The left wheel must be adjusted to project the beam through this mark. Repeat on the other side. Actual procedure at night. This is it. But how did I move the vertical line? Here I have a steering rack removed from a car. Tie rod end screws on the end. By turning this rod, it goes in and out of the tie rod end, adjusting the toe in or toe out. The vertical line moves and voila, we hit the bullseye. Well, not really. When we set this point and then tighten the counter nut that must be tightened, we actually press on the tie rod end and it moves the line again. Therefore, after several attempts, I have found this point out of the right point, far enough to compensate for this slight movement. And now after tightening the counter nut, everything is fine and dandy. Rolling straight. Technologia. I'm happy. Till next time.